Hello everyone, this is ZRPG Revamped, and I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, this is going to be at least two days late. If I'm hoping I can get it up today, which is Monday. I don't know how that's going to work, if it's going to work out or not, but uh, yeah, I've been busy doing a lot of Halos and Bios, if you haven't seen those, check them out. I've basically been doing biographies for, I'm going to be doing them for every person who's an official guest as well as I did for myself and Cole. Basically saying favorite game, podcast, developer, things like that. And with some pictures. Looks kind of cool. Um, you can see that on our Facebook page, which I don't know if I talked about on here yet. And I posted them on Twitter as well, links to them. So Yeah, that's what I've been working on lately. I'm up to episode 5, which actually took quite a bit of time. But, uh... I got responses to read out. Thank you to everyone who responded. Um, got some new things I'm going to try out at the end of the episode. We'll see how that works out. Basically, last week I asked, what is your favorite genre? And then just name off uh, some examples of that genre. Real simple, straightforward question. Pestro87 said, that's a really tough question, so my answer is going to be pretty general. Arcadey 2D games. Air quotes. This could be fighting games, platformers, STGs, and so on. Some of my favorite arcadey 2D games are ESP Galuda, Battle Garega, Garu, Mark of the... Oh man, my handwriting's bad, sorry about that. Mark of the Wolves, Street Fighter 2, and Streets of Rage 2. By the way, this series is great. I was bummed out that I didn't see a new weekly inquiry in my subscription box last weekend. And I just talked about how it was going to be late. Sorry about that. It's not the weekend anymore. But I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Chronolink9, as anyone who knows me would say, I love JRPGs! I eat up the stories in them, despite their predictability and cliches at times. My favorites are ones that tend to play out similar to anime, like Final Fantasy to an extent. And especially the Tales games. Time and time again, I am impressed by the story, world, and characters Japan is able to reduce in their games. Another one of my favorite genres is the platformer. Give me Mario, Kirby, DK, and Sonic, and I'll be set for weeks. I have to move on my, onto my phone, because I really didn't feel like writing them down anymore. Sorry about that, but took a picture. Hopefully I don't forget anybody, but I think I got everyone. Triforce Rich said... No contest, it's the RPG genre for me. My favorite subgenre is probably the traditional turn-based JRPG, but I think a properly done action RPG could have the most potential. My least favorite subgenre would probably be strategy RPGs. It is weird because I love learning about military tactics in real life, and I love RPGs, but for some reason the two don't blend too well with me. I love modern-day modern Western RPGs also. Games like Mass Effect, Dragon Age, and The Witcher are all brilliant. I have to agree with you there, but... Strategy RPGs, I do like Fire Emblem. I'm, not, I'm obviously, I'm not like super knowledgeable in all the other uh, obscure strategy RPGs, but Fire Emblem, I do love. So if you haven't tried them out, give them a chance. That'll be the one game that will get you into strategy RPGs of anything. Um, R.E. Lewis 2011 says, The action RPG number one. Kingdom Hearts is obviously my favorite game of all time, but I'm also a big fan of other action RPGs like Fable, Lord of the Rings, War in the North, and many other very similar games. Yes, I love Fable. JRPGs, platformers, action adventure, and a good shooter is always welcome every once in a while, too. Ma Majin Power says RPGs, JRPGs, Western RPGs, strategy RPGs, action RPGs, I love them all! Final Fantasy IV is my favorite game of all time, and I've played through that more times than I can hear to admit. This generation, Tales of Vesperia, Valkyrie Chronicles, and Xenoblade Chronicles are some of my favorites. I also love the STG shoot 'em up genre. Well, you can totally get submerged into the games, learning the scoring system and mastering every stage or play for 15 minutes. Thanks for the responses, guys. It's obvious that the RPG was the ruling answer here. I think everyone answered RPGs, side for Pestro. <laughs> Which, good old Pestro. Someone had to be the person to be the odd man out. Actually, and I was the odd man out as well. I said simulation games, which is even more odd. Absurd. Most people were probably yelling at me about that, but, uh... 
I have an idea, a little idea I thought I'd try out in this episode. You guys let me know what you think. I don't want to make this a competition where you feel obligated to post just to get a point. But my idea was that every week you post a response that you get a point. And, uh... This doesn't mean that after the deadline's done, you don't get points. Because Majin Powers actually went back and posted an older one, which I'm perfectly fine with, because... It's not fair if you come in late and then miss all the other ones. It shows you low on the scoreboard. You can always go back and comment on the other ones. Only if you're interested. I don't want you to just do it for the sake of doing it. But just letting you know that the option is out there. So, there are a lot of like ties, obviously, at the moment. Because there's not that many episodes in, in perspective, once we get into, like... Episode 15, then we'll actually start to be a little differentiated, I think, but for now, f after this, I think I'll just put a scoreboard picture, I'll try working on that in Photoshop, and then, uh, like, I won't even mention it, it'll just be at the end of every episode, so you can see the updated things, but, uh, I'll read them out this time. Number one right now is Pester with five responses. He's responded to all five so far. Depends on if he responds to this one to see if he keeps up with it. Second is Zavanenia 1718 who's responded four times. Uh, third is Fergio 4 and Majin Powers who've both responded three times. And then tied for fifth is Laird Gamer, Chrono Link 9, Ari Lewis 2011, and Triforce Rich who have all responded twice. And last, but most certainly not least, well, technically they're least, but it's not, it's not, they're, they're not any less of people in my book. I don't know. Any less of viewers, subscribers. Ninth place, the Dev Donovan Viper, Helsinki Rocks, AGF, and SCS Scanland. Or SC Scanland, or SC Scanland. Um. I had that problem pronouncing the last time he was he responded, but uh, there you go, guys. Um, let me know what you think of that idea. If you want me to trash it, I'll trash it. Um, I've been loving like playing around with Photoshop lately, so I probably make a Photoshop image. I'll put it at the end of this episode. If I did, if not, maybe in the future we'll see. I'm also thinking I'll probably put the responders at it, at the end of each episode with links to their channels. Who knows? Who knows, though? Um, so I'd like to thank you all for watching, all for responding, all the support. Please check out the Hey Listen Facebook page, and I'll, I'll see you all later. I hope to make more normal videos outside of these. I know these are the favorites, so I at least try to keep up with these, and obviously I'm failing at that even. But uh, I hope to have more other videos in the mix. I've just kind of been busy. I have physical therapy homework goodbye we all want to become famous but it can't be dangerous but fame and fortune might change us from who we really are we're gonna go Blasting boom 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 Everybody in the club is dancing Because the DJ is bursting my tune We all want to